Science Shed. Today, we're going to be making some microscope slides. So, uh, we're using my Vickers microscope. Uh, I got this microscope for my birthday two years ago. Yeah. Uh, we've got David's feet and Dan's feet with us today. Uh, so, we're going to be going and making some microscope slides. Uh, so, what we've got um, to make the microscope slides is we've got vinyl disposable gloves, uh, empty slides and slide covers. Uh, and the glue. Uh, the gloves are for the glue because the glue is toxic to your skin. <clears throat> and we've also got some um, ready-made microscope slides. I had to put bottom and top on because uh, I kept getting it wrong. And um, every time I opened it, uh, it like uh, they'd all fall out. So hopefully, yeah, I've got some uh, ready-made ones that uh, that we might have a look at a bit later. So we're gonna go out into the woods now and we're gonna go and uh, have a look for some things to look at under the microscope. So we're now going into the woods, uh, past the pond. David, stop mumbling. I, I got to Church nice shoes, what are church shoes? These are my nicest shoes. No sign. Church mm -hmm. shoes. Yeah, they're shoes. These are my nicest shoes. Big tree. Do you think moss would be interesting to look at under uh, the microscope? Very, very interesting. No, I think you it would be. You are a star in all your homework. Moss. Moss, moss, you're cute moss. We don't have any stars, these stars don't exist moss, moss, anymore. Moss, moss, you're cute or moss. Oh, moss. 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 Indy wasn't there. Yeah. Okay, so what we've just come across is a massive oak tree oh, that's yeah. come down. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, if you can see up there, that must be where it's... That's not an oak tree. Yes, it is, Dan. What? That is an oak tree. No, uh, not. As you can see... No, it is an oak tree. Let's have a look at this. As you can see, because we're in um, very good air, uh, they have... Look at this. What? What? Where? Look at this. It's a really cool piece Look at of that. Room. That is actually pretty cool. I know the date it was made, so I can change the password if I want. So what we've got now is we've got the things that we collected from the woods. Uh, we've got a little bit of a sycamore seed, a, um, a uh, fern and a piece of algae. Uh, we're now going to prepare the slides. So I've got the empty slides and covers. If I em if I uh, open this bag and I get the slides out, um, uh, I just want to uh, be warned, warn you because uh, oh dear, oh dear, uh oh, oh dear. Right, uh, let's get <laughs> David Dan's evil laughter in the background. So that was David. What? Okay, so uh, I spread them out. Yeah, we spread them out, uh, and then what we do is. Uh, put it so I do this for the next one. Yeah, we put it centrally in. So uh, right in the middle. Yeah, and then put the piece of algae, and then we get the, the slide covers. Um, Should I get the glue out ready? No, no, because it's okay. toxic, and you all need to put yeah. gloves on. Um, oh, wait a second. Hang on, Dan. If you, if you're doing this at home, um, you can buy slides and things on Amazon. But um, yeah, they are quite cheap, but they're not great. Um, you want to get some proper ones from your local craft store. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> that sounds like a But um, anyway, so okay, what we're going to do now is uh, you might need to buy gloves if you Yeah, you don't, because this is. But uh, toxic. if this you're is actually added, from Waitrose, because they're very good quality. Right, um, not made for Tesco's. Made from so uh, we've now put some gloves on. Um, and oh, you're recording. Three hands, and we, uh, we've, um, we're going to open up the glue. Now this glue, when it dries, it's a bit like PVA glue. Uh, it um, it uh, it goes transparent, so there's no need to worry um, worry like about it glue. worry about it going uh, 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 ruining medium. ruining your uh, things. So um, first of all, what we're gonna do? Show is in your put multiple a little, hands. Put a little blob, <laughs> little blob on each one, as so. It does uh, really spread out. So be warned, you only need a few drops. Because, because you're making it very You only need a triplet. Okay, there we go. So, um, no, now put the glue see on. see these three We have uh, three uh, cover slips. 
So yep, I'm she very, very dye on, then it'll be easier to see. So what we're doing now is we're placing uh, the cover slips very gently David. over the top. Uh, David. There we go. So now <laughs> we've done that. <laughs> um, uh -huh. uh, yeah, there we go. So Remember, put the glue so back into their case. Yeah. They say that you don't sweat in them and they disappear. Okay, so what we've uh, done is our, um, I've put them on the agar, or the cooker, or whatever, or, um, and they should have dried. So uh, we've got the fan, and then uh, the algae. Because um, you probably don't have an agar at home, uh, or whatever this is, the Rayburn, then... Um, just put them in a warm place if you have a radiator or uh, any anywhere that's warm and they can get a chance to dry. Once you've done this, uh, you can put them in a sunny window where the sun will dry them. But uh, David and Dan have gone home now, so um, it has been about an hour. I've had tea and um, so we can go and have a look at them under the microscope, see what they look like. Okay. So we're up in my room now, and uh, we are just going to put them under the microscope. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you what's under the microscope, but I'm sure I'll find a way. Okay. So uh, let's look at the the sycamore seed first, uh, or the helicopter seed. Uh, this is the one that spins down from the tree, uh, they often find them littered on the ground and uh, they spin so they fall down. Uh, I picked this because uh, it has um, the veins on it are really awesome, so let's have a look. Um, I'm using, uh, to start off with I use 10 times zoom, so let's have a look. what I've got here um, even on 10 times zoom this still looks absolutely fantastic you can really see the intricate uh, structure of the uh, seed or the propeller of the seed so um, yeah so it's so interesting um, I'm gonna try and just a sec I'm gonna try and find a way for you to see this and I'll be back in a second to look at the fern and the algae So I've managed to um, find a way of uh, taking photos uh, by using good old foam um, and uh, yeah so the first one was the uh, the first one was the sycamore leaf which uh, had some really interesting structure the second one which was the fern I really because you could see the individual uh, cells and the algae well the algae isn't the most interesting one but uh, it's definitely really interesting and I think that when we go into the woods more and more and find different things uh, we can uh, definitely really uh, explore what you can um, look at at home so I think we should have a quick look at a few of the ones that were in the box that I uh, talked about pre-made one, let me just get the box so uh, here is the box, uh, and if we open it up, there are quite a f quite a few in there. Uh, let's just do a random pick and do uh, this one, which is apparently something I can't read. Nope, I can't read that. It's in funny writing. Right. Uh, yeah, this one is cat lung cells. So let's have a look at that. Now remember you can go into any microscope shop or uh, you often get those kinds of things in photography shops. So if you go into a photography shop uh, ask them for a uh, ready-made um, slides for a microscope and they should give you a box full. 
I'm not sure how much that cost because it came with a microscope, but uh, anyway, let's have a look at this uh, cat's liver. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode and I hope you subscribe and like the video, leave a comment for any crazy science you think we should do or questions uh, you have for us to answer. Okay, see you next time. Bye!